A couple weeks ago, I read a story about a man who at 25 was diagnosed with a chronic kidney disease. Now, a lot of people do get chronic diseases and many of them do recover from it. However, at 37, he was then diagnosed with stage 4 of chronic kidney cancer. This means that your kidney would only function between 15 to 30% of the time. Now at this point, you either need to get an organ transplant or a dialysis to stay alive. But the sad part is, he had already gotten both, and the kidney he received 10 years ago was failing. Which means that the only solution he had was to get another organ transplant. And even doing that would be really expensive. Now if everyone were to donate their organs, then the world would be a much happier place. But you and I both know that not many people feel comfortable donating their organs. Even though you're saving someone else's life, there are still a bunch of different risks involved that can cause damage to your own body. So what if there is a way where we can still save these people without having to actually donate our own organs? What if we could somehow use something else to do this for us? Well, you see, there is a way. And that way is in pigs. Now I know what you're thinking, pigs? What do they gotta do with this? Although they don't look anything like us, well, some of us, their organs are still really similar to ours. Now as crazy as this sounds, scientists have already developed a term for this. This is called xenotransplantation, AKA animal to human organ transplant. This isn't just an idea, pig valves have already been successfully used in heart transplants. But before we start turning each other into pigmen, there's still one massive problem when using pig cells, tissues, and organs. I mean, apart from the whole fact that you're literally taking a piece of a pig and putting it in your body. Anyways, this is because pig genomes contain up to several copies of porcine endogenous retroviruses, or PERV for short. Yeah, not exactly the greatest acronym. Anyways, these things are inside the genome of all pig strains and can be released as particles that are infectious to humans. And as you probably guessed, this is one of the reasons why we haven't been putting pigs inside of our body. But hey, don't worry, because there's already a company who's working on solving this problem. This is eGenesis. eGenesis is a company that's working on eliminating these retroviral genes in pig genomes, making pig to human organ transplants a safe option. How, you may ask? Where they're doing this by using something called gene editing. Now, you're probably wondering what gene editing is. Well, this is when you can manipulate any living organism's gene. How? Well, this is done through the process of CRISPR-Cas9. CRISPR-Cas9 is a technology which allows us to edit the genome by adding, removing, or altering sections of a DNA sequence. It's a simple, versatile, and precise method of manipulating the gene. This system consists of two key molecules that introduce change in the DNA. The first one is the enzyme called Cas9. This protein acts as a pair of scissors that can cut two strands of DNA at a specific location of the genome so that bits of DNA can either be added or removed. Now the second part is a piece of RNA called the guide RNA. This consists of a small piece of a pre-designed RNA sequence which is located in a longer RNA scaffold. This part binds the DNA and the pre-designed sequence guides the Cas9 to the right point in the genome. Okay, let's break this down. First, the guide RNA matches with the DNA that we want to manipulate. It then attaches to the Cas9 protein where they then take it to the host. The guide RNA will then be injected into the host body, which it will then snip off the target DNA from the body and replace it. eGenesis is using this CRISPR-Cas9 technology to find the core of the PERV clones in the DNA and deactivate them. After treating these cells with CRISPR-Cas9 and two guide RNAs for 12 days, the company had observed 37% PERV inactivation. Now, unfortunately, this technology is still quite new 
And so the company isn't able to achieve 100% of inactivation just yet. But just think about how crazy it would be in the future. We would no longer need to donate our organs or have expensive organ transplants. Just think about all those lives that can be saved from pigs. But gene editing doesn't have to be used just to help xenotransplantation. It can also be used to edit our own genes, enhance our existence, design our own babies. The options are endless when it comes to gene editing. 